So now we have the basic application ready to go. So in this part of the presentation, we're going to show you how we actually take that application and load it up on the web. So to start off with, we're going to use iNomads to do this. So we're going to go in here and run the iNomads administration program. And th this will actually allow us to set up the system. We'll go and create ourselves a transaction for this, and we're going to call our transaction prod and it runs the panel products panel library is demo dot en and the starting direction and directory is the global directory on the system and well we'll have it call the startup even though it doesn't actually have to do that and so we're going to go and write this out uh, actually we can also put on the system at this point that we require the login if you don't put that on the system will pop the login anyway since the screens themselves have security on them but we'll start off with the say we do require a login just to make it easier here and we'll write that record out close that down and for the system configuration we'll also go in here and we're going to change it so the default transaction it's going to run is that prod transaction so we'll save those off now the only other thing we need to do is we need to go and set ourselves up with a web server. For this purpose of this presentation, we're going to actually use the Easy Web Server. So now to launch the actual Easy Web Server, we're going to use the Star Plus slash Spawn utility, which actually is able to be used to spawn anything, whether you're using just your standard command line like we are here, or your standard system on a Windows or Unix platform, or also using Windex in the client server, the application server, or NT host, NT slave. Okay, we're just going to use this to run the Easy Web Server. That will launch the Easy Web Server, and it's going to come up. And I'm going to minimize that since we don't need to see it. Now, after that, let's go and see what we actually have here. And to do that, I'm just going to use Chrome on my machine because it's my preferred web browser. Although IE would work just as well. And we'll just do a Chrome HTTP localhost. That'll bring it up. And there's our sign on screen. And I'll put in the user ID of John and his password of Smith. And we'll hit the login button. And now I can simply go in and see all the various product codes out there. We can call up a query, select a query. We can request the product price list. Basically all the functionality that we said we needed to have now up and running on the web. And we've done this in, oh, well shy of our 30 minute time frame. However, at this point, you probably want to go and make it look a little prettier. I mean, I'm sure if you want to impress the boss, you'd want to have the screens look a little nicer and whatnot. So let's go in and make a template for the global company that we're working on. And we'll go and put some nice images on that, uh, that template and tie it all up and make it look a little more appealing. But this does bring us to the end of this section of the presentation. And we'll go through the template definition in the next presentation. Hope to see you there.